Liam Rossini kept his cards close to his chest in announcing who would be struggling for this game. I can tell you that Sean McLaughlin misses out and so too does the captain in Louis Coyle. So Jacob Greaves has the armband today. And looking at the 11, it's Alsop in goal. The back line is Regan Slater, shoehorned in again as a right back. Matty Jacob on the left with Jones and Greaves in between them. Then it's Morton and Seri, same midfield combination and the same forward line combination for the Tigers. Philogene, then Tufan, then Amo and Carvalho. So one change to the starting 11. But coming in on the bench is a very notable inclusion indeed. Liam Delap is named for the first time since January. Immediately go with a direct approach from the kickoff, which Philogene blocks. But immediately, first attack of the game has a bit of promise for QPR. Long range shot, which also tips around his left hand post. And that was hit straight away by Morgan Fox, who doesn't have many goals to his name, just the four in his career. And that would have been probably the pick of the bunch. Southampton lead early in their match at St Mary's. They're taking on Watford. Will Smallbone in the opening minute. They will be so heavily encouraged by the results that have taken place above them today. Tufan on halfway. Back to Jacob Greaves. A 4-1-4-1 temporarily out of uh, shape for QPR as the ball goes forward. And now Regan Slater forward towards Philogene on that right wing. Back to Slater. Plenty back for QPR. Philogene though looking to get through the line of two in front of him as him and Slater use a ricochet to their advantage. Back it goes to Jones, he's got a man on. Just about gets away with it, the screams from the crowd. Greaves through the middle towards Irma, 30 yards out. Now for Tufan, good pace, good energy to the passing. Tufan fancies it! Oh, magnificent from Ozan Tufan! Begovic had no chance! There was a contest between him and Philogene on Wednesday night about who got the goal, but there's absolutely no doubt that two fans turbocharged right foot a centre screamer into the top bin. That might be the best of the lot this season. But two fan will chest it down towards Seri and Hull City with a through ball. Seri to Philogene and he'll try and play it across towards Cavalier. And that time it looked like the right pass. He was in behind the defence, Philogene. Didn't want to strike it on the left foot, instead side-footing it across because he sensed Cavalio arriving at the back post, but it was just a little away from him. It was Tufan, barges into Clark Salter, off the ball. Philogene nips in and wins it, and Irma's free in the middle. It's going to rico ricochet around the six-yard box. Philogene putting it into the right area for Irma. It went just behind him, but Hull City still... Pressurising, Seri, Philogene, dead centre, 20 yards out. A pass left towards Tufan. Tufan, clever flick towards Jacob, around the defender, looks to cut it across, turned behind by Cook. But QPR couldn't get near the ball despite having bodies only a yard or two away. And that was really encouraging play from Hull City. Again, with Willock down that left wing, dispossessed by Irma. Didn't have any room to work with, he somehow kept it in place. First pass is unsuccessful, but Seri picks up the pieces. Two fan through ball for Carvalho. Carvalho in behind! 2-0 Hull City! It has been coming! And Fabio Carvalho, eighth of the season. And an eighth in nine matches as playing the number nine position. Electric football from Hull City. QPR cannot live with them, and Hull City are in danger here of putting a high score on QPR, which is most certainly what the Tigers fans want. If they keep playing like this, who knows what scoreline it could be. The committee meeting has started in blue and white. The celebrations are underway in black and amber. Hull City 2, Queen's Park Rangers nil. Irma over to Slater, right wing position. QPR scuttling back in. Slater now to Irma, four to Irma in the box, into the area he goes, Carvalho, neat flick, cross ball towards the six yard box. Needed somebody just to make that poacher's instinctive run and tap it in from close range. City easily could have had four or five in this first half already. And QPR just look a bit shell-shocked. Ball's back with Elias, chair whipping it in, decent looking delivery, oh QPR just wide, 
Six yards out, Paul Smith immediately into the game, arrived perfectly, but diverting his shot away from goal, similar to the first half in terms of a chance within the very first minute. Morton and Emma are over it. Smattering of shirts in between as it's now lifted towards the 18-yard line. Comes to Villagin! Bullet! Absolute bullet! 3-0 Hull City. Perfect positioning, perfect connection. And Villagin, who's worked so hard in the first half, now has a goal which might just put Hull City out of sight. They are putting QPR to the sword here. Tufan hit a thumper. Philogene's even crisper as the throw in is taken. It's a neat ball through the middle which might unlock Hull City's defence. Smith in behind the defence. He can round also up here. He's done that. And is the shot going to be cleared off the line? Yes, it is. Matty Jacob getting there to bail out Hull City. It was a through ball which didn't look on at first. And now for Carvalho. The zip is back in this passing move. Irma now with Slater to his right-hand side. He's trying to suck a few in blue and white in. Slater, cross, oh, he's hit the post. Flag's gone up for offside on this near side. That must have been a close call. As Slater smacks the post with a side foot finish. Wide now to Elias Chair. Chair goes back towards Fox. They're passing it on the edge of the area. QPR, Paul Smith, oh, he's let one fly towards goal. Also down to it, left-hand side. Preston nil, Norwich nil at the moment at Deepdale. As a ball over the top finds Delap, he's in behind. Liam Delap! Well, he chipped the keeper, he chipped Begovic, but like at the other end, when Jacob cleared it off the line, this time Isaac Hayden claps Reggie Cannon from the sidelines for his header off the line. Delap almost back in amongst the goals immediately.